Number six, an electron's position is given by vector r. Let's write it down. Vector r, which is a function of time, is equal to 3t in the i direction minus 4t squared in the j direction plus 2 in the k direction with t in seconds and r in meters. Letter a in unit vector notation, what is the electron's velocity v? So we want to find v, which is a function of time, and we have the, the function of the position. So in order to get the function for the velocity, we have, we have to derive vector r in function of time. So this will be the derivative of 3ti minus 4t squared j plus 2k in respect of time. So if we do this derivative over here, we would find 3 in the i direction minus 8t in the j direction. So vector v is equal to 3i minus 8t in the j direction. So this is the answer of letter A. So letter B at t equals to 2 seconds. What is vector v as a in, in vector in unit vector notation and as a magnitude and, a, and an angle? So letter B if for, for letter B, C, D we know that t equals to 2 seconds. So let's first make the calculation for t equals to 2 seconds. So you just have to replace t for 2. That's all you have to do. So this is 3 i minus 8 times 2 because now t is equal to 2 so this over here is this over there in the j direction so this is equal to 3 in the i direction minus 16 in the j direction don't forget to include the unit meters per second so this is the answer of letter b letter c what is the magnitude of this vector over here? So we want to write the magnitude of this vector. And how we do that? We just take the square root of each component squared and sum everything up. So it's 3 squared plus minus 16 squared. And this is equal to roughly 16 point three meters per second don't forget to include the unit of the velocity over here we want also to uh, obtain an angle relative to the position direction of the x axis and how we do that so the angle is the inverse function of tangent so it's tangent to the minus one or arc tangent of the y component over the x component so it would be the arc tangent of minus 16 over 3 and this gives us two different angles it gives us minus 79.4 degrees and 101 degrees so we have to choose which one is the correct answer and in order to do that, we, we have to analyze in which quadrant vector v is. So let's say this is x and this is y. So vector v, it's positive in the, the i direction, so in the x direction. So it's positive in this way and negative in the i direction. So this is the y direction. So it's negative in the y direction. So the vector, vector v in t equals to 2 seconds is points in this direction, so it's in the fourth quadrant. So let's analyze both angles over here. 101 degrees is something like this. And minus 79.4 degrees is something like this. So the angle that is at the fourth quadrant is minus 79.4 degrees. So this is the, 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 the answer of 
letter D.